Hey everyone, this is the walkthrough video of how to create the SUPA template. SUPA is abbreviation of search query performance analyzer. This video will be in three parts. The first part, I'm going to briefly talk about search query performance, what it is. And the second part, I'm going to go over what you see in SUPA template. And finally, uh, we will talk in detail in the last part about how to create the SUPA template. So starting from search query performance, it is a dashboard that Amazon released a few months back. It's an amazing tool and everyone was shocked, which Amazon is providing us with all these details. Search query performance, which is in brand level and ASIN level, is the sales funnel from customers seeing the product, clicking on the product, and purchasing the same product. There are some really important notes that you have to understand here. One is that all of these results originated are originated from search result pages. So any impressions clicked or purchases originated from product detail pages are not here in this table. The second is that, uh, just before going to the second point, if you click on this help icon here, you will be guided to this information. It gives you everything in detail about anything you need to know about the search query performance and all the details. So the detail that I'm talking about, I'm not just making it up. I checked it from the metric glossary and keep that in mind. If you click here in this, see additional metrics before clicking on that, you see just general uh, information about all of, all of these KPIs. When you click, on see additional metrics. Now you can see everything in detail. So let's go over what we have. First, all the results originated from search result pages. The second, all the results of sponsored products and organic results are included in the search query performance. So headline ads, if there's a sponsor display ad here, it's not included. The headline ad is not included. The video ad is not included. And all the headline ads at the end of the page, the results, the impressions, the clicks, the purchases originated from them are not included in the report. If you read here also, it explains that it includes both organic and sponsored products, but excludes ASINs displayed in widgets such as editorial recommendations, top rated and highly rated. So that is another uh, really important factor that you have to consider is that, uh, let's see if we can find any highly rated here. Uh, seems like there is, a, I, I don't see them in this page, but I'm 100% sure you have seen editorial recommendation or highly rated or the top rated. Those impressions, clicks, purchases originated from those sections are not included in the uh, search query performance. So this is something that you have to keep that in mind. And we have the impression clicks, add to carts, uh, purchases for the whole market for every query and for our share. In this example, you can see the impression of the market. Here you can see the brand, the brand uh, share of the market. And if you divide these two, it's going to give you the brand share right now. Easily you can find like this, you can find the market share for impression, right? For your brand. If you have different brands, you can see from this drop down. And also in ASIN view, you choose your ASIN and download the information related to your product. In brand level, we have a thousand queries maximum. In ASIN level, max, we have 100 of search queries. That's the limit that Amazon provides us with information. So that is it. The first issue with this is that uh, there is no API for this as of now. So that is why this process of creating the report for this is really difficult. And, and, none of softwares have added the search query performance to their results because unfortunately it is just not uh, in API and you have to download that. So in here, you can easily click on generate download. And when we talk about the download in our template, we are going to click on comprehensive 
view. You will download this, generate the view, you will download this, and then you will use this report in our template. For ASIN level, you are gonna download, there is just, as of now, there is just simple view. For ASIN level, you just download whatever, whatever is available, which is sim uh, simple view. And also, as you can see here, you have different reporting range. I usually go with weekly, so week over week, I know what is happening, but you don't need to do that. You can look at monthly. Uh, quarterly is good to check sometimes, but I usually look at monthly, uh, weekly, or monthly. And also here, you can select your month, week, or whatever the time period reporting date that you are using. So that is what search query performance is. Now, what is the purpose behind the SUPA template? Why we created that? The issue with search, uh, search query performance is that you see the report, you see the results for the latest time period, right? And I see all these reports, but there is no way for me to easily compare this to previous time periods, to previous weeks, to understand, is this market share going up or down? Is this uh, click counts going up or down, search volume going up or down? These are not available through just looking at this table. So you need to kind of process the data in order to see all the results in one place to be able to compare with them. And the information you see here is, honestly, this is, there's no value for them. They are great because we always talk about how important the market share for your brand, for your ASIN is to understand how you are doing compared to the market. Now you can hear, mostly we talk about purchase share, right? But here you can see your click share, impression share, add cart share, and purchase share all together. I don't wanna go into the detail of the use cases. We have had webinars about that. If you uh, need to see those webinars, just comment and uh, I can provide you to the link to see in detail how you can use this report. Okay, let's go to the next part, which is what you see in Supa template. So we are gonna download the report manually. Uh, kind of uh, important to a Google Sheet, which I'm gonna explain that, and connect that to this Google Data Studio. I have another version of Supa template as a Google Sheet. That is another file that we have. Let me know if you need that. Most of my followers that my that they follow for the Supa template, they already have access to that, and I'm gonna send them the new version that I changed based on some of the changes that Amazon made. So let's go back here. Here in Supa, when you create this, you are gonna see the uh, all the brands that you have imported or they are connected to your account. You see the brands, you can select any brand that you want. In the first section, you see the sales funnel for the latest period, whatever it is. It is the latest month, it's the latest, latest week, whatever period that you are updating your report. This is just for the latest uh, time period. The results for your brand, impression clicks, at cart, as purchases. What is the share, the rate, so click through rate here cart ads rates, which is cart ads divided by clicks, and purchase rate, purchase divided by cart ads. Here we have the conversion rate, which is purchase divided by clicks, and we have the same results for the market. And finally, what is our share? For instance, for this purchase, it's gonna be 472, our brand share, divided by the market share, which is 16,000. It will bring us to 2.93. So this is the share of the market. In this graph, you are gonna see exactly the graph week over week for each time period that you have updated uh, for all of uh, these KPIs here. Then you have the same thing in the table here, but with more information, you have the search, uh, you have the purchase total count of the market, which you didn't have here, plus the brown count and the share. The good thing about this table that I always love to see the numbers in table is you see everything in one column. So I can easily see what is happening to my market share, what's happening to my click share, to search volume in one view. And easily it is uh, kind of, you can understand what's happening to the market. You can also sort by any KPI that you want. By default, it is sorted by date. Next is all the search queries for that related to that brand, right? We said 
a thousand search queries that Amazon provides us. This is all the search queries. And the good thing is that it is sorted by the date and you can see the volume, you can see the score that Amazon kind of provides. What is your score, the brand score for the search query? And all this KPI, again, one view, you can easily see in a column what is happening to this search query. Are you losing or gaining market share? Uh, by default, I have set it up to see here five time periods. I don't think you need more than that because it's going to be too much. If we, if I provide you like here, for instance, with 10, 12 rows, just last five time periods should be enough. Uh, so that is that, all the search queries. Then next, we have the brand analytics report related to each query. As you can see, you can scroll here. But the point is, the reason it is a small here is that uh, I'm going to, I didn't mention this, is that in this report, anywhere you click, all the tables will get kind of filtered out. For instance, if I click on ankle brace here, you will see from the top, all the graphs, all the funnels, all the results will be filtered to see that result. It's, okay, great. Now. We are seeing all our results for ankle brace and also this brand analytics because my idea was I don't want to show so many results here. I just want to show the, uh, the things that the, uh, the user is selecting, right? So here you just see ankle brace. You can see the brands that getting the market share, ASINs, sorry, the click share actually because it's coming from brand analytics from top search from brand analytics. The ASINs that getting top clicks and what is their click share, conversion share for each of these ASINs. And finally, what is the total click share, conversion share among the top three products. And finally, actually, let me remove this from here. And finally, we have this, actually, it is my favorite table, I would say here, uh, which for all the queries that we have, for the latest period shows what is your delta between the latest period compared to previous period and to the max of that number. For instance, let's go with uh, ankle brace here. It shows me the table. Sometimes you might see this is not aligning with the latest date. And the reason is that in this case, it means in April 22nd, which is our latest date, this query didn't appear. That is why we don't have that date. Well, yes, that's why we don't mm, have that date or here, same idea. This query didn't appear among thousand queries for this, uh, for the latest time period. It could be because we lost impression clicks or whatever the reason is, uh, it is not appearing, appearing here. So let's look at ankle brace here. This is the market purchase. There were 19,774 purchases for this time period in the market, not your brand. The brand purchase is 15.05. The purchase share to previous period, the reason I have this in brief because uh, kind of I couldn't wrap the whole text here. That's why I tried to have the uh, abbreviation of that. So purchase share to previous period. All of these numbers are in percentage. It means that we lost minus 0.21% share of purchase share compared to previous period. So we declined slightly. It's a, it is even less than 1%. It is less than half percent. It's not a big number, but compared to our max number for purchase share, whatever the time period is, I don't know what the time period is. If you want to see what the time period is, we can easily come here and see for that purchase share. When was the latest? for highest purchase share, right? Here we are at 6.48. Seems like the highest number is 8.69. Uh, so it is comparing this and saying, uh, in the latest report, your decline to previous period is, actually it is in, per yes, it's 1%. So that is the number. I'm gonna check this. I'm not sure about why 1%, hold on. kind of seems like the number uh, doesn't make sense for me. 
Uh, I'll, I'll double check this, but uh, check this yourself as well. I don't know, it seems like the number doesn't align with what the difference is. I'll take a look, I'll fix this. And also when you are using this one, for a few of the numbers, check, make sure it is correct. So the idea here is gonna be to show you the purchase share, click share, add to cart share, and impression share compared to previous period and to the max in order to uh, understand where you are standing, right? Are you declining or are you gaining? That is what you see here. Anything that you click, all these graphs will be filtered. And in product level, exactly same graphs with the only difference that in this area, you see the uh, ASINs and you can select the ASINs that you are going to look to see the information. So this was the part two and what SUPA is, what information you can see. Now let's go to the part three, the fun part, and how to create, create this. The first step in order to create this report is click on the link for the Google Sheet, which is template SUPA input version two. Make a copy. Okay, great. It, it took about like, I would say 20 seconds to uh, copy this Google Sheet. We have different tabs here. The three tabs that you are gonna work with is brand input, ASIN input, top search term input. These two are the ones that you are not gonna touch. These are the information that will be processed based on the input that you do. The first step, please go to brand uh, processed, select everything here because these are the information that I needed to put here to create the template. And when you want to copy, these are needed to create your template. So uh, just delete all the content that you see here from row number two, okay? Don't touch the uh, row number one from num row number two, anything you see, delete from here, from ASIN process, the same thing, delete anything that you see. So just leave the top row here. Okay, we are gonna start from brand input. Go to file, import, upload, and import the data for your brand, right? So let's go to the uh, search query performance. So for the first time that you are downloading, depending on how far you're gonna go back, right? For my report, I went back, I don't know, I think like six, seven weeks before I wanted to start. You start downloading all of them. And when you import the data, you have to start from the earliest time. I'll give you what that example, I'll give you an example, but in this case, just go ahead and download any reports that you want. The way you have to download it, let's say you are starting from week 10, apply, generate download, compress and view, generate the download, right? Click here, then you click there, it's gonna, all the downloads will be in this download manager, right? Create all the reports as you see I have created and start, start downloading them. Then we are gonna go to the report and here, this is, actually, let me make this bigger. So I'm gonna start, these are in brand level, these, uh, I don't know how many it is, three, uh, six reports are in brand level. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna start from the earliest date, which is 18, March 18, right? Don't start from the latest, start from earliest, this is how this uh, template is gonna work. So please start from here and open the file. When you open the file, make sure your, uh, this cell is active, A1. This is very important, that's why this is highlighted in, or, uh, in orange, I guess, or yellow. Uh, when you are uploading this, click on replace data as selected. So, so first, I'm gonna start from beginning. When you come to brand input sheet, click on this A1, go to import, upload, and from here, 
select the earliest date which is 18 and then click on replace data okay great now that you import this you're going to click on brand process the first time it's going to ask you to authorize this because there's a, a code running here right so you are going to authorize select your account and allow this file to be applied again when you do this for first time you give permission you have to click this another time right great the information has been uh, kind of transferred to brand process you don't need to see what it is that is good next go to browse select the six uh, the second date which is 25 so it is going in order and click on replace data this uh, cell is selected import brand process click on the transfer data so keep doing this until you are reaching to the latest state until you are up to date right and in the uh, in the future weeks when you are updating you are just going to do this once just the first time that you do since you are doing for different time periods in the past it's going to just take some time next is going to be ASIN input you go to ASIN input file import upload and from here select your ASIN as you can see I have two reports for uh, two same dates and the reason is that these are two different ASINs I downloaded two different ASINs report for three weeks that for four weeks that is why I have to I wanted to show you that you could do that exact same process import when you import replace it and then this time you have to when you are in ASIN input you have to click on process ASIN not process brand when you do that great you are gonna import all the information again do that in order of the time from earliest to latest finally we get to uh, top search terms input you go to import and do this top search terms after you import your information for brand and ASIN because what is gonna happen here is that uh, all this information that you see here for the top search terms which is for the brand analytics from here actually let's go this is the information from brand analytics right uh, the way I uh, get information from brand analytics for different time periods based on whatever time period I'm downloading for search core performance is I find 20 50 ASINs that are related to my product or related to my brand whatever I want to kind of achieve the search terms that I want I put 20 to 50 ASINs and then I refine as a result I see all the top clicks search terms for that uh, for those ASINs which are uh, kind of related to my product or category then I download that information again generate download simple view and when you do that you go file import as you see here I have the top search term again I'm gonna start from the earliest I'll import this information and after doing this data if you have this data transfer here add top in brand and ASIN when you click this it's gonna take map this out map these queries out with ASIN processed and brand process information so they are mapped together in your uh, the in your template that is that as easy as I know it's not easy for the first time it's gonna take some time but it's just the first time the next time it, it's gonna be easier because you are uploading one period right so done you have created this move this data change the name move it anywhere you want next step here is that to make a copy of this because you have no edit access you have nothing you make a copy then you make a copy of this create the report don't change anything here because if you change this this is going to mess up with some of the fields that I have I had made just create a report then you create the report now it's making a copy of this change the name to anything you want from here 
the next step is to go to resource manage added data source now here is you're gonna connect this to your updated information that you have here right now this is connected to the template that I have the original template that I have made so you're seeing my report my information what you need to do is to connect to this one you go to edit there are two reports you go to edit from here you have to find your file you can see this is template you go to own by me and what usually happens Amazon shows you uh, sorry Amazon not Amazon uh, Google shows you the latest Google Sheets that you have made right here on the top this is the one we made right easily click on this now which uh, template are we connecting which sheet are we connecting we want to connect to the async process right that's the one we selected from here you have to select async process reconnect and let's see what it says it says invalid fields should be fine let's click on apply Uh, I paused the video to see what's the issue. Actually, the issue here in connecting the ASIN is the reason for that is that we didn't create create the ASIN process. As you remember, I didn't import. We imported brand ASIN. So if you have your ASIN imported here, the information here, you are gonna not you are not gonna see that uh, error. So let's go back and create the uh, the brand process so you can see that there should be no issue we go to owned by me this is the one we made now if we choose brand process and click on reconnect we will see that that will be connected so the main uh things that you have to there's no error as you can see here the main things that you need to understand is that you have to import a in uh, import data in async process and brand process and at least one date for one period for top search terms then connect your super template otherwise the connect the google data studio otherwise you will see an issue happening then you choose this as you can see the import the information the data is connected but this one we didn't connect it because our async was empty well, actually, that was, that's a good thing because I'm sure some people might uh, see this bug. It's not a bug. This is how brand, uh, the Google Ladder Studio works. We are trying to connect to this uh, sheet with no information, and it says I can't find it. So at least have one period for any of them, and top search terms, one period uh, import for the same time period, right? If it's a different time period, it's not going to map it correctly. Import click on data transfer so we have one complete data com uh, period compiled from here you can easily see that now this is being created so this is how you create the template uh, if you have any other ideas in terms of how to make this better reach out to me please to together to make this something that is useful for everyone if you have some expertise with google sheets in terms of creating uh, uh macros that works better let me know so far that is what we have and just go enjoy uh playing with the data and getting some insightful information and insight into your uh brand and asins and what you are doing mm -hmm.